Uh, hello there, the unusual audience that would have interest in, in the video that I'm making here. Um, my name is Brian. I, you might know me from such sites as HostileFork.com or maybe Stack Overflow if you use that, also Hostile Fork. Uh, it's a little bit of a joke about open source uh, cartoon fork, but you know, either get it or you don't. I, I want to talk about an announcement that was made of the Rebel programming language. It's been around for many years. Uh, it has its adherents and its detractors. Uh, I have, since it's open sourcing as an Apache 2.0 license pro project, decided that I would go and build it on Haiku. Not an operating system that I have a lot of experience in, but certainly I have um, had friends who were very interested in BOS back in the day and you know currently still follow Haiku. So I was a little bit kind of when I saw this kerfuffle uh, where the announcement was posted on a list uh, of, hey, hey, the source is out, go build it for Haiku. And, and the Haiku people said, well, why don't you build it for Haiku? And some guy from the Rebel community said, well, no, why don't you build it? Um, and it kind of got to the, well, I don't even like your language anyway. It's weird. And it's like, yeah, well, I don't like your OS. And it was kind of a bit of a dust up that, that I thought was a, a unfortunate. It reminded me of a joke that I heard about a guy who loses his eye and he um, can't afford a glass eye so he gets a wooden one and it's kind of noticeable and he's really self-conscious about it so he um, stays home for a lot but then he says I gotta get out so he goes to a dance and he sees a girl sitting all by herself at a table and uh, she has kind of a funny looking nose and she, she looks kind of sad so he thinks well she's not gonna judge me and goes over and, and, and says, well, would you like to dance? And she says, would I? And he says, pig nose? And so watching people from the Rebel and Haiku community have a bad uh, first interaction is a little bit like that, at least to me, where I think that there's a really strong possibility for uh, overlap in the philosophies that drive why someone would be interested in Haiku and why someone would be interested in Rebel. And it is about smallness and simplicity and and um you know going back to maybe some some ideas that didn't that didn't win in the evolution that we know uh where we live in this kind of crazy seemingly out of control world of complexity so what i want to show you is how easy it is to get involved in rebel development on haiku how easy it is to build uh i can just give you a binary which i have one for you but and you need it in order to build but let's just go ahead and and, and show this is with a the iso the latest haiku iso comes with uh, git installed which is great comes with uh, gcc comes with make um, this is kind of what you need to to build rebel it's very portable so let's go ahead to the github uh, we're going to do a git clone of the official repository, which has accepted my Haiku patches. I was pleased that there was no bureaucracy block there. Um, they call it R3. You can rename it to Rebel, I guess, if you want. Uh, but it's version 3 of Rebel, so it's R3. Uh, don't get confused with the programming language R, which is a statistical language uh, out there elsewhere. So OK, we got our R3. Um, it's laid out in a way where all the source files are in the SRC directory and, and the make directory has kind of been pre-made for you as the place where uh, the build products will go. Now, an interesting aspect of, of Rebel and its portability story is that it is bootstrapped onto using a Rebel uh, binary to, to build a number of headers and, and things that are in, included. So you need a Rebel binary in order to build Rebel. Um, the good news is that that Rebel binary could build those necessary files on any platform and you can FTP them over uh, to the new platform you want to build for because the goal is that the build process itself only requires a more, you know, an ANSI C compiler-ish with a, you know, Relatively modern, I suppose. 
So the, the scripts, the, the rebel scripts uh, that are used to do this, appear in the tools directory under source. And these are run by a process of, of make make, which makes the make file, and make prep, which makes a bunch of, of, of code. So it's bootstrapped. So you say, well, OK, so how on Haiku, if I can't just go into the make directory and type make, what do I have to do? Well, you have to grab a binary. I, I made one for you, um, put it on one of my servers. Uh, and and this one is called R, you know, <clears throat> it's called R3 make. Uh, it's just the R3 binary renamed to the dash make because we're going to build an R3 file at the end, so it just differentiates the executable you use to bootstrap from the executable you're about to produce. All right, so I just use wget to get it, um, and here we are. Uh, when you make make, you tell the make process to make a make file, you need to tell it what operating system ID you want to make the, the file for. I was a little funny. Um, I called it uh, 0.5.75 for Haiku. Interestingly, there was an R3 binary that was released for Linux PowerPC under the 0.5 version number, um, but I think that's because they thought BOS and Haiku uh, you know, and such were dead because the R2 binary actually did also use 5. So this is um, more consistent with history at least. And it's also kind of funny. So uh, they accepted it. I don't know what we're going to do with the versioning system over the long run, but let's let's just enjoy the joke. Um, oh, don't forget this part. Good good lesson. Uh, just getting a file off the internet obviously doesn't make it executable. So be sure and do that. Um, okay, so it made the make file, and then we have to do make prep. Make prep is going to produce a bunch of ANSI C files uh, from some of the Rebel specifications. Some of scanning the um, scanning over the source code, looking for function headers and pulling them out. It's a it's a it's a preparatory process, but it's using Rebel to um, script that. And then, once we've done that, we can do make, and the make process starts cranking. Uh, You'll notice that when a, when a build is being done in the C compiler here, uh, two underscore haiku is defined. So if you if def, if you want some conditional code, now that's pretty fast. Um, we got a 490k executable now for R3. So let's just see that guy run. There he goes, and we're in Rebel. Boom, it's that easy. So uh, hopefully the, the controversy and, and, and this can, can bridge over some of this um, and we can talk about the future. So this is part one, I'm about to make part two.